Hey folks, we're talking about the benefits of and the barriers to empowering your team. And in this video, we wanna talk about the barrier that some leaders face, which is the team members themselves don't seem to wanna to be empowered. So the first question might be, why does this happen? Well, usually it's because in their past work experience, they haven't been allowed to, or they haven't been encouraged to. And in that case, they might come into your team now and kind of go, why should I answer my own questions? I've never been either expected to or asked to, or maybe not even allowed to in the past. I've just been told, just do your job, stay in your lane. And so as a leader, if you're trying to empower your team and you're being faced with this mentality of, I'm not really sure that I'm even allowed to, or maybe I don't even want to, it can be challenging. It can certainly be frustrating. So what is something you could do? Well, I think the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have a conversation with the team and very openly express that you want them to feel more empowered. You want them to be able to uh, deal with some of these problems on their own. You trust in them and you know that they can handle it. You have confidence in their ability. The second thing then is to give them some sort of problem that you feel pretty confident they're gonna be successful at and let them be successful. You celebrate it and as you do that, you're gonna see that the empowerment just continues to grow on your team. Now go lead.